The band saw is a key piece of equipment in any woodworking shop. The blade on the band saw is a long continuous band of toothed metal. That band is stretched between two or more mechanically driven wheels. The band saw is used to make small repetitious cuts and complex or curved geometries. Cuts made on the band saw will be rougher than those made on the table saw and may require some finishing. Salas band saws are located in the workshop and are available whenever the shop is fully open. Shop hours can be found on the Sala Making and Building website. They are also posted on the workshop door. Select materials may be used on the band saw. These include MDF, acrylic, plywood, and solid wood. You will need to wear eye and ear protection when using the bandsaw. You will also need something to secure longer hair, a pencil and notebook with a plan for cutting, and the material you want to cut. Always review your plans for cutting with the shop monitor. This should be done before you start using the bandsaw. Make sure all loose items on your person are securely fastened, the work area is clear, and your eye and ear protection are on. Check and adjust the blade guard before making your cut. This controls the height of the exposed blade. The gap between the top of the material and the bottom of the blade guard should be less than 2 centimeters or about the width of one finger. You should never push your hands directly toward the blade when cutting. This is true if you are making cuts with the fence, cuts with the sled, or a freeform cut. Always push your material with your hands moving parallel to the side of the blade. Use push sticks when possible. Remember, the blade is still moving even after the saw is turned off. As a courtesy to your classmates and shop monitors, be sure to tidy up after you cut. This includes clearing excess material and sweeping both the floor and machine. Contact your shop monitor and refer to other tutorial videos for more in-depth training or to review best practices for using this machine.